Jim Brinson along with Wes Unseld, Chicago Stadium, Chicago, Illinois, and we are just about ready now for the beginning lineups for both teams, and they will introduce the Bullets first. Remember now, they will introduce the entire squad. And it's Watley at one guard, and now the noise factor begins to really increase. Here is the man. They call him Mr. Jordan in Chicago. The standing ovation for Michael Jordan from North Carolina, the number three pick in the NBA draft. You know, a lot of pressure's been bought to bear on this young man's shoulder. He is in a, a very awkward position. As, as we said, we know he must be excited, but the position that they're putting this kid in here, building up everything on this team around him is, is going to be something that uh, only a Michael Jordan probably can own up to. You know? City is definitely excited about the Cubs, about the Bears, and the Chicago Bulls hope to get them equally excited. And this game is underway as it is Michael Jordan who comes down with the basketball. Over to Watley, and we are underway with play on the front court. Swing it to Woolridge on the far side. Round on top to Steve Johnson. Here's Jordan with his first shot of the game. Off the iron, won't drop. Rebound, Steve Johnson follows to the glass and scores. Bradley brings the ball into the front court. Swing it now to Mohorn, far side. Down low underneath, they try to get it to Rulin. Ball tapped away out of bounds. It'll still be bullet basketball. Bradley in front court. Jordan on him defensively. Dudley penetrates center of the lane. Lay it up off the glass, won't drop. Rulin pushes off. And we're going to have a loose ball foul call. Frank Johnson, Darren Day, pump fake. Now he's got his open shot off the glass, dumps it in. Day's first bucket. Jordan now quickly into the front court, penetrates to the hoop, hangs in the air, give it off Steve Johnson, and he gets the easy bucket. This is what's going to make Michael Jordan so valuable to this Chicago Bulls team. He's just going to draw attention from everybody, and it's going to leave his teammates open. Jordan just uh, ran into Ricky Mahorn, a fine how do you do that was. Mahorn now pulls up with the outside jumper. He got nothing but twine. And the bullet staying right in this contest. It's now 11 to 8. Mohorn with four points. Now Mohorn. Swing at the rule at top of the lane. Down low, bad pass, but Darren Day did happen to get it. Blocked by Jordan. And the ball comes down on the hands of Steve Johnson. Back outside, Frank Johnson. Long bomb around. Will drop. Rebound. Caldwell Jones lost it. Rulin turned his back. Didn't see the ball come loose. And as Watley quickly in front court to Jordan. Looking for penetration. Spin move. Hangs in the air off the glass. It is. And that's what Wes and I were talking about at the pregame show. You knew it was going in. All this excitement. It had to go. Timeout has been called by the Bullets. They don't want to get this one get out of hand early. We'll take a break. 7-19 to play first quarter. The score, full 16, Bullets 8. Mahorn, by the way, perfect shooting from the floor so far in this game. He's hit three. Out of three attempts. Jordan, spin move. Bradley, great defense to get back. Jordan goes up, hits it, and is fouled by Bradley. I think the official got kind of excited on that play. I think Dudley Bradley played great defense. He was with him the whole way and just went up and tried to, to uh, contest the shot. As we see, Dudley was not fooled by a great move by Michael Jordan. He just goes up and just puts a hand up. And a hand is part of the ball in the NBA. Jordan to the line for his first free throw. He gets it. Five points on the night so far for Jordan. It's 19 to 10. Quickly in the front court now comes Bradley. Now the 13 seconds. In the first period, Jordan's going to hold for one. Inside of 10, right to the hoop, pick it up off the glass, and won't go, and he drew the foul. Seeing him with just the one for him, just leave him alone, isolate him, and let him do what he does best. A lot of people have to remember, too, that Jordan is listed at 6'6", but yet the way he skies and floats through the air, he plays much, much taller. Drops down the first free throw. Now six points for Jordan. 33-19. Make it 34-19. Five seconds to play. First period. Inbounds. Gus Williams has it knocked out of bounds by Jordan. Sewell will throw it up from midcourt. Off the grass. And the first period has come to an end. So a standing ovation after one for the hometown Chicago Bulls and their fans appreciate so far what they see. When we come back, we'll have the start of the second quarter. The score, Bulls 34, Bullets 19. Chicago has been playing on a, on a lot of excitement this first quarter. Only committed three turnovers to the Bullets eight, and that's where they've managed to maintain this lead. 
Gus Williams missed the shot. The balls come right back the other way, and they get it to Woolridge, and he slams home another one. He's now in double figures with 12. Sidney Green into the corner. Jordan baseline move, and a blocking foul called on Sewell. Chicago maintains possession. Jordan throws in. Sidney Green, baseline from 19. He got it. Williams quickly into the front court. Bullets trying to increase the tempo. Down low, a horn kicks it back outside. Williams with a shot, no good. Rebound, Jordan. And here he comes, steaming into the front court. Jordan with the pass off to Corzine. He scores. He's going to make everybody on this Chicago team look better than they actually are. He's going to make better basketball for them. Biggest lead so far of the night, 45-26. Chicago leads Washington. We'll be back. Forty-five twenty-eight is the score. Chicago's led the entire game. Jordan walked that time. Ooh, and Jordan went up and came down hard and is injured. You can't go up against Jeff Ruler in that matter. And Jeff was just standing there, and he went up, even though the whistle and play was... Play was called. Jeff goes up and makes a good defensive attempt, and his leg gets caught on Jeff's shoulder. And he comes down hard. He's okay. He's all right. I think he's taking a breather more than anything. Well, he wants to know how his fans are taking it. <laughs> you better believe they were all excited. Oh, boy, you could just tell the air went out of everybody when that fall took place. Woolridge, Jordan, baseline. Great defense that time by Bradley as he forced him to miss the shot. And Bradley the ball Bradley. comes off to Bradley to Darren Day, center of the lane. He lays it up and won't fall. Ruler tips it in and won't count. Foul is called. You have to pay attention to that ball. The official can wait. Here's Ruler underneath. Jordan goes up and blocks it. Ruler screams for goal. Tendy can't get it. Knocked away by Darren Day on a splendid defensive run. Looking for Jordan. He gets the bounce pass. Time running down. Ten seconds on the shot clock. 16 at the... Uh, First half. Watley back to Jordan. Center traces. Rolls around, won't fall. Caldwell Jones tips it down to nine seconds to play. Dudley Bradley all the way to the hoop. Count it. One second now on the clock. And that basket will not count. That basket will not count. Kevin Lockery up off the bench again. Walridge working against Darren Day. Back outside now, Steve Johnson. Jordan on the baseline. Bradley glares at him right in the face, knocks the ball away. We're going to have a whistle foul call. It's going to be on Bradley. Michael Jordan made a good move. Dudley was with him and just got the hand up to contest the ball, but got him on the elbow. Michael Jordan at the line, knocks it down. In the first half, he was three for three, so now he's four for four. Oh, 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 oh. 58-45, the score. Chicago is led from the opening tap. Michael Jordan. Orlando Woolridge is playing a splendid game, and that's why. Unstoppable so far tonight. Ricky Mahorn getting the dunk at the other end, the assist to Frank Johnson. Back down low, they go to Woolridge. Outside, Watley with the J. Too short. Rebound, Jordan. He got it. Jordan in double figures now with 10. What they've done in the past. Half court game, that's right. Bradley tries to force it, and it's stolen away. Watley, Jordan looking for penetration, baseline, hangs in the air, shot no good, rebound battle for Steve Johnson goes after it, loses it. The uh, offense to get inside. Johnson shot no good, ripped out of the sky by Woolridge. Here they come the opposite direction. Michael Jordan leading the pack outside. Woolridge spins in the center of the lane, puts it up and in. 22 points for O. All right, you're going to take a look at Jawan Olam in the game for the first time as Mahorn is hammered down low. Olam from Seattle. And we have been told that Corzine may not be back. Dave Corzine, because Charles Davis, trying to work down low to Rulin. Gives it to Jeff. He spins in the center. Three guys go up. Ball slapped away. Rulin wants the foul. Couldn't get it. As he makes his move here, the ball doesn't fall. The Bullets get the ball back. Watley gets picked out. Rebound. Bradley goes up. Can't score. But Chicago controls. Jordan, hang time, throws the ball away. And that was good defense that time by Ruland as he took away the alley. Ruland trying to go down to the center of the lane. Has it knocked away right into the hands of Gus Woods. Robinson posting down low. Turnaround, Jay's going to be short. Rebound, Jordan. 
Lob pass, all of off his fingertips, out of bounds. Of three periods of play, it is now only a four-point advantage for the Bulls. The score, 78 to 74. Do something more than they wanted to do at that Down low, point. Robinson, they need it. It won't drop. Jordan comes down with the basketball. Into the front court, dish off, Quentin Daly, the outside jumper, he got it. Hey, these two look very well together, Jordan and, and Daly. There's Daly from the outside, Jordan posting a baseline spin and underneath, blocked by the horn, and Davis was there also to help out. Quentin Daly to the hoop, the horn with a block at the other end. Here comes Gus the opposite direction to Frank Johnson to Gus, all the way to the hoop, and Holridge swoops away. That would be basket. The Bulls come the opposite direction. Jordan to the hole, and a whistle and a foul. Boy, into that, 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 this is exciting. All right, Jordan at the line. A six-point advantage for Chicago. Making a seven-point advantage. 81-74. 9.42 to play in the contest. Bullets climb to within four. That's the closest they've been. 82-74. Chicago in the front court. Jordan has to dish it off. Watley also has to dish it off. Put Daly from the outside. Well, the crowd will tell you what happened. Daly now with 19. 550 to play in the contest. <laughs> Here's Jordan, double team to the corner. Gets it back out. Caldwell Jones. Now over to Daly. He got it. Outside now, Woolridge, Ballard hounding a pass inside. Michael Jordan makes him change the shot. Nice defensive play, Rulin. Bad pass by Jeff, however, it went right to Steve Johnson. Rulin tries to draw the charge to no avail as Michael Jordan gets the loose ball and scores. A lot of credit. He's adjusting to not only losing his starting position, but to playing a different role. Ricky Mahorn hustling underneath, can't get it to fall. Jordan to the hoop, hang in the air, score! Bullets want time. And the fans here at Chicago Stadium on their feet, they like what they see. 3-11 to play in this game. Chicago has once again assumed command of the contest. 98. 82, back with more action after this. As Kevin Lockley now goes to the bench. Here's Wes Matthews coming in for Michael Jordan. He's going to get a standing O. Not a bad opening performance for, for a young rookie. Um, I tell you, he's going to make a, an impact on this league in, in a hand.